This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, September 13th. Stock index futures putting in a very good performance so far this morning. We did have news that the U.S. and China have rescheduled talks or at least are planning to have talks, although no specific dates have been announced at this time. Also, we did have the consumer price index here in the U.S. coming in higher but a little bit lower than anticipated. So that could be a bit supportive in the sense that it could cause the Fed to be a little bit slower in their rate hike scenario uh, next year. So once again, stock index futures performing very well and I would suggest that traders should be trading from the long side, continue to trade from the long side as there appears to be a lot left time-wise in this market to the upside in the indices. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index coming under some pressure with the CPI coming in only up 0.2%. This compares to the estimate of up 0.3%. Other currencies higher for the same reason. We did have the European Central Bank and the Bank of England holding policy meetings today. Both central banks maintaining current policies, which came as no surprise. Interest rate differentials seem to be still a bit negative for the dollar index versus the euro currency as the Fed, I believe, is going to be fairly slow next year to hike rates, maybe a bit uh, less aggressive than some analysts are anticipating. Interest rate markets higher initially with the CPI coming in not quite as strong, that being a bit of, of a bullish factor. And yet with stock index futures advancing so much today, that being a a new negative influence, taking the bonds from higher on the day to lower on the day. Plus we do have some supply with the treasury to auction 30 year bonds today. So longer term still looks like lower prices are likely for the interest rate futures markets. The Fed still appears to be on track to raise rates later this month and one more time in December, but maybe only two more times next year. Either way, rates are headed higher and that means most likely lower prices for the interest rate futures markets. So good trading everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.